In this mock call, you are going to learn the following. How to handle a dead-end call when your company policy cannot grant your customer's demand. How to de-escalate a soup call or a supervisor call. How to deliver a bad news. How important your tone of voice is when talking to your customers. How important internal notes are. And here is the product knowledge for this mock call. I want you to take a few seconds to read it before listening to the mock call. Oh, okay. Ready? One, two, three, ring. Hi, thank you for calling Power Up. This is Candice. How may I help you? Hi, Candice. This is Thirsty. How are you? Great, thank you. How are you? Well, I'm a little confused, but I'm fine. Huh. Tell me all about it. So, um, I got my November billing statement, and mm -hmm. it looks like you are overcharging me $3. My subscription with you is the unlimited package for a fixed amount of $50 per month. But for some reason, you are charging me an extra $3, which makes a total of $53. So... I don't really know how it got there. Oh, can I have your account number and full name so I can check your account and see what the charge was for? Absolutely. I had it written down in my notebook here. Hold on a sec, okay? Mm-hmm. Take your time. So, so my account number is 123456. Mm-hmm. And my full name is Cersei Bannister. Bannister with a single N. Thank you. Let me just pull up your account. Mm-hmm. Okay. I am seeing here that the reason for the charge was because of the late payment for your October bill. The due date was on the 16th of October, but it was paid on the 17th. Really? But I was only late for a day. Yes, Cersei. The due date was on the 16th. Any payment beyond that is already considered late and will be charged the $3 penalty. Seriously? But that's only one day. In fact, now that I think about it, it's actually even less than a day. It's only hours, actually. I paid the bill early in the morning of the 17th at 6 a.m. Couldn't you do something about this? Couldn't you exempt me just this one time? I can't, Cersei. I see here in your account that you have been given a late payment exception last September 30th. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't remember that. What are you talking about? This is my first late payment with your company. I have never been late with payments before. According to the notes here on your account, you and I talked on September 30th, 2020. You were charged a $3 penalty and I submitted the request to have it canceled as a one-time courtesy. Also, you asked me to send you a confirmation email to confirm the exception. For God's sake, this is ridiculous. Listen, Candice, I want you to be reasonable here. I know. I know now. I paid late. Fine. I get it. But my point is, it's only been a few hours. Your due date was on the 16th. I paid at 6 a.m. on the morning of the 17th which means it's only been six hours. Six short hours. You see the math here, Candice? Do you see the math? It's only been six hours from the due date and you're already charging me. Is that fair? Is that fair to do to your longtime customer? Cersei, I completely understand. It's only a six hour difference. It's barely even a day. It's very short. And that's frustrating for you. I get it. Now, if this was your first time receiving this penalty, like in our previous conversation, I would be able to grant your request without any problem whatsoever. But because I have already given you the exception before, I have no other option but to charge you the penalty this time. This has been our company policy since 2010. Well, then transfer me to someone who can, because I'm certainly not giving up on this. Transfer me to your f***ing manager. I'm afraid nobody can grant your request, Cersei. Not even my manager. There are things that my manager can do, and I can't, but canceling a late payment penalty is not one of them. 
Doesn't matter. I still want to talk to your manager. She's the manager, after all, and you're just an agent. But your manager, being the manager, should be able to do something about my situation. It's logic. I'm telling you this because I don't want to take up more of your time, especially if, it's, if it means you're going to be hearing the same answer from my manager. Oh, don't you worry. Trust me. I have all the time in the world. Okay. Please give me two minutes so I can inform my manager, okay? You know what? Forget it. I'm sorry? I said forget it. I am done with your f company. I am done with your crappy customer service. I am done with your greedy, unreasonable policy. I am not wasting any of my breath talking sense into your management. You know what I'm going to do? Next month, I'm going to transfer over my subscription to your competitor power down and cancel my account with you. Four years I've been with you. Four long years of timely payment and clean record and six hours of late payment and you're acting like I haven't paid you for months? Seriously, Candice, how could you even bring yourself to work for this kind of company? You must be so desperate for a job to be working for this kind of company who doesn't care a button for their customers. I wish I could have done more, Cersei, but this has been our policy since 2020. When it comes to penalties, we really could only give you a one-time exception, and that's it. And I have already given you an exception last September. Yeah, well, I know. You've told me that over and over again in this conversation. In fact, you sound like a broken record. Blah, blah, blah. Aside from the, this, do you have any other concerns, questions that you want to ask? Nope. Not like you can do anything about it. No offense, but you haven't helped me at all. Oh, well. I guess you don't have a choice. It's just your crappy company and your desperate need for a job. Thanks for nothing. Bye. <laughs> okay, that's all. If you need a step-by-step -step explanation for the call flow of this mock call, click the link on the screen. In this video, I explained why Candace didn't say the usual statements that most Filipino call center agents usually say when they acknowledge or empathize with their customers. Most agents in this call would usually say, sure, I'll be happy to help you out with that, or I'm so sorry to hear that. But in this mock call, she didn't say any of these, and you'll find out why in this video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.